Hello and welcome to Pep Talk with me, Mr Pepperell. Today I'm thinking about different surfaces and infrared radiation and why on a day like today it might be a good idea to be inside somewhere like this. By the end of this video you should be able to say which surfaces are the best emitters of infrared radiation, which surfaces are the best absorbers of infrared radiation and finally which surfaces are the best reflectors of infrared radiation. So previously we found out that all objects do emit infrared radiation, okay, and we can see this guy here who's hot compared to his cold drink is glowing because he's given out a lot of infrared radiation. But if we have a little look at his background here, we can see a wooden cabinet with a uh, mirror on it, okay, and if we look over here, we can see that the mirror appears to be colder than the surrounding wooden cabinet, which would suggest that for some reason different surfaces give out different amounts of infrared radiation. In fact, if we took these two kettles and we boiled them both up and we just left them afterwards, providing all the other variables are the same, all the other variables are controlled in our experiment, we find that our black kettle would cool down a lot more quickly and our uh, silver kettle would stay hotter for longer. So this is because colour has a big effect on the amount of infrared radiation that is emitted. And by emitted, I mean given out. OK, and what you'll find is dark coloured objects will emit a lot more infrared radiation than light coloured or silver objects. OK, so we can see there that darker objects emit a lot more radiation and the amount of radiation is also affected by the texture of the surface. So a shiny, smooth surface like our silver kettle here will emit less infrared radiation than a matte dark surface like this one here. And by matte, I mean dull or rough. Okay, so in fact, what we can actually say, our rule here is that dark matte surfaces are better at emitting or giving out infrared radiation than light-coloured shiny surfaces. So, we've talked about surfaces emitting radiation, but what about surfaces absorbing radiation? And by absorbing, I mean taking in radiation. OK, so let's look at our two kettles again, our silver shiny kettle and our black matte or black non shiny kettle. If I filled them both up and I didn't plug them in, but just left them out in the sun all day, at the end of the day, I'd find that the black kettle was warmer. Well, why is this? Well, firstly, it's because matte surfaces absorb more radiation than shiny surfaces. Well, why might that be? Let's have a little look at our surface in detail. OK, so my silver shiny surface, when the radiation hits a shiny surface, OK, so we've got infrared radiation coming in here, hitting the surface, it reflects straight off again. So the heat energy is only absorbed at this one point just here. However, when the radiation hits a matte surface, it's a bit of a different story. OK, the radiation is coming in in the same way, but when the radiation hits the matte surface, it scatters and it reflects in all directions basically and some of those reflected rays might hit the surface again just there or reflect and hit the surface again just there when this happens or if it happens the energy is absorbed at more than one point because it's absorbed at more than one point more energy has been absorbed and again in this case the color is also important okay even if the surfaces were exactly the same of my silver and my black kettles the black kettle would still absorb more infrared radiation than the silver kettle, even if the surfaces had the same texture there. So thinking about absorption and reflection, it's possible to say two things. Firstly, it's possible to say that light shiny surfaces, like our top kettle, absorb less radiation than dark matte surfaces. OK, so light shiny surfaces absorb less. And also it's possible to say that light shiny surfaces reflect more radiation than dark matte surfaces. So now we know a little bit about surfaces and radiation. Let's look at these two guys and decide which wardrobe we're going to go for to keep ourselves cool in the summer. Well, firstly, guy number one over here is wearing a white suit. And we know that white is a poor absorber of radiation and a good reflector of thermal radiation. So in the summertime, he's going to be cool. OK, but if we look at guy number two over here, he's wearing a black outfit and we know that black is a good absorber and a poor reflector of um, infrared radiation. So 
this guy's going to be hot in the summer. But he's got one thing going for him. He's got a shiny PVC outfit on. And we know that shiny surfaces are good reflectors of radiation. So that's going to help to keep him a little bit cooler, even though he is hot. So that's it for this episode of Pep Talk. Any problems with that at all, don't hesitate to email me or tweet me at Mr underscore Pepperell and I'll get back to you ASAP. Thanks for stopping by.